Merchants who are building their own software need the ability to query on their account information from anywhere, and our query API allows them to do that. This API is structured very much like our direct post, so merchants who are already using the direct post, our preferred transaction API, should be pretty familiar with how the query API works. Effectively, this allows them to search for transactions, customers, subscriptions, or invoices that have been created on their account. I'm looking at the documentation right now, and we show a brief example of how this works. You basically post to a URL, provide us a security key for authentication, and a transaction ID, and that will return the full transaction details for that transaction on your account. But that's not all. If we go to the variables section, there's a lot here, and I'm not going to go over every single thing, but you can really filter down to exactly what you want to see. For example, if a merchant wants to find all of their in-progress transactions, we have that. If they want to see all the unknowns, they can do that. If they want to see what's pending settlement so they can see what's been processed but hasn't been settled into their account, that's available as well. They can filter by credit card or check transactions. They can search for only sales or refunds or auths. And there's a lot more here. And one of the more interesting ones that more people will use is the report type. And so the report type is where you can really search for different things. So the default search is for transactions, but I mentioned you can look for the vault, recurring, you can look at plans that have been created in your account, invoicing. So if you want to see a customer's invoice or you want to see if an invoice has been paid or a history of invoices, all of that's here. You can even generate a receipt. So there's a receipt report type in the query API. So if you give us a transaction ID, we'll return you an HTML formatted receipt. So the integrator doesn't even have to do that. They don't even have to format a receipt if they don't want. We can give you a formatted one already. There's also searches for account updater, test mode status, which will tell you whether an account is in test mode right now, which is good to know. If you're running transactions, you want to make sure that the account is not in test mode if they're going to be real transactions. So you can do that to ensure your account is in the correct status. There's more here, including date ranges, what order you want the results to come back in, newest first or oldest first. You can page through results. So if the merchant is running an enormous search, they can page those results to get maybe a hundred at a time so that the searches happen faster and they can iterate through them and collect the data in smaller chunks. The query API returns XML data, no matter what you're searching for. And it's really easy to read, really easy to parse and is very consistent so that merchants can use it once, figure out how it works, and then it will work very nicely, very easily for all future updates.